Okay, this is a film for all the people who have been asking me what's happening with the Enigma machine? Where have I got to on that? When are we going to see it? When's it going to be done? Those kind of questions. Um, I am still working on it. You can hear the printer's working on it now. Where I actually got up to and what I'm fixing at the moment is figuring out the keyboard. So my last attempt at the keyboard was this and the problem should be fairly easily apparent and it's the wiring. The keyboard is probably the most complicated piece to wire up. Uh, maybe the rotors are going to be a bit more complicated. They're not complicated, they're just tricky to get right because you have to get all the connections exactly right. But the keyboard is tricky because you've got a ton of moving parts and a bunch of wires that all have to live in the same space. And my latest attempt to solve this was to make this plate on the top of the keyboard that goes between the actual top keyboard piece, which is over here, um, to have all the wires coming out of the back off the Enigma machine. And that just proved to be fairly unworkable. It's really hard to wire up. If anything goes wrong, it's really, really hard to fix. Uh, it's just a pain in the neck. So what I'm doing is cheating. Well, not really cheating, but it's another part of the machine that's not going to be 3D printed because that's just not feasible. So what I've done is redesign the machine so that instead of this plate here, which is the one that all the micro switches are living on, being plastic, I've turned that into a PCB, a printed circuit board. I'm actually going to solder all of the switches to that board, and that board will have tracks that bring all the connections out the front of the machine. So the, the wiring will all be hanging off the front of the machine here, so I can neatly solder, solder to that and make the wiring neat and tidy. I am thinking I may end up making printed circuit boards for the rest of the wiring so that I can actually use connectors for the main wiring loom rather than having wires coming off everything. Um, actually have things mounted on a board and then have connectors to join the boards together. I think it'll just be a lot more practical and a lot more reliable. Uh, my printer's sort of wheezing away there. The so to do this, I first designed the, um, redesigned the model. This is my 3D model in Fusion 360 to replace this plate with a printed circuit board. And that didn't require too much of a change because the plate I had in here was two millimeters thick. The printed circuit board is 1.6. So all I actually had to do was increase the, the height of the base here that this sits on. That's actually the part that's printing there now. Uh, I really want to print it in uh, silver, but I don't have any, so I'm just doing a test with black, just to see how it comes out. And I can see that's already going wrong by the looks of it. I have recently stripped down and cleaned the printer. I didn't fully strip it down, I just stripped it down enough to clean the screws and things. So I'm just trying to get it up, set up and running again properly now. And at the moment it looks like it isn't quite, um, I think the bed leveling's off so things aren't sticking. The slight grinding there is probably because the, the screws here need lubrication. But I'll stop this print in a few minutes and just check and then try and restart it. But I have designed the printer circuit board and to do that, if I can find it. Um, I use this easy EDA software. I would have used Eagle, but the free version of Eagle limits you to a 100mm by 100mm board, which isn't big enough for me. And also Eagle's, it's a horrible interface. It, it really has a steep learning curve and I've used it in the past. I've probably forgotten how to use it and I'd have to end up learning it again. So I'm just trying this easy EDA and one, once I got the basics down, this has actually been not too bad to use. So I've designed a, a 
printed circuit board here. Obviously it has to have the holes for the key shafts to point through and it's got the wiring on the front. Uh, the other advantage of using a printed circuit board is with the silk screening you can label things. So I actually know what all these pairs of wires connect to, which keys they go to. Um, I have sent these boards off to uh, JCL PCB to get those manufactured. I'm hoping I've got them right first time, but uh, it's the first set of boards I'd ordered from them. This is for, through a Chinese company and they give you quite a big discount on the first order. So I think it cost me $21 New Zealand for five boards, including shipping, which is just ridiculously cheap. Um, I looked at some local companies to get quotes on, on making these boards and they were talking more than 10 times that amount. So it's worth trying to see what I come back with um, to see if the boards are gonna be suitable. And if they're suitable, I'll go ahead and design boards definitely for the inside of the rotors. Um, but as I say, maybe for other parts of the machine. So the other wiring I need to do is of course the, the lamp board under here and the plug board here. Now, these may be okay to wire up manually. They're, they're not as complicated as the keyboard and there's not as much assembly required. So the problem with the keyboard is being the sandwich of parts, they all have to fit together with the wiring inside there. Something like the plug board here, you can see this is pretty much a standalone unit. If I unscrew this from the base, I can wire this whole thing up as a complete unit with a, with a loom sticking out the back with the right connector on it. And I'm pretty certain I can do the same with the lamp board here. There's a little bit less room with the lamp board and the lamp board is actually probably a perfect uh, candidate for another printed circuit board because all the lamp holders are, are a fixed setting and I can actually just get a board made that sits in there. Looking at it, I've got just enough room. It's not going to interfere with the mechanism at all. I would just have to shorten these and have a printed circuit board under here to connect all the lamps and probably bring the wiring out the back here because I've got room out the back here. Uh, the rotors won't get in the way and the cables would connect in there and then come out the side um, or else just actually come out the side here. That may be another possibility. So like I say, I've, I've ordered the board for the keyboard. That's the most complicated one. If that comes back and that works fine, I'll probably go ahead and do the same for the rest of these. It doesn't affect the mechanicals of the machine for most of it. Um, the board does end up being structural in the keyboard because it's actually supporting the keys, but I think that'll work fine. Um, as I've said from the very beginning, this is not a simple project and just because you have a 3D printer doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to just download the files and build one of these because there are going to be metal parts for the key switches, uh, for the key shafts and the standoffs. Um, and my aim is just to build a working Enigma machine. So if that means needing to get printed circuit boards made, so be it. But that's where I'm at at the moment. So rest assured, work is continuing on this and I will keep people updated on how it's going.